Because, again, we take it for granted now watching these halftime shows where the stage comes out and it just goes like clockwork and it's elaborate and it's something that's remarkable how they put it together so quickly. And you were doing it for the first time and how with Michael Jackson and everything else involved. Um, you know, Prince, I remember part of the part and parcel is you got to show up on a Thursday and you've got to have a press conference and you've got to do this and that yeah. in front of the sports media. And Prince, I'll never forget, um, said, I am not taking questions. I'm yeah. just going to yeah. do a couple songs. Yeah. Well, Prince and, said to me, I don't do press conferences. Mm -hmm. And I said, but there's going to be 500 people from the media here who want to see you and all that. He said, look, I'll pretend like I'm going to go up and ask her a question, mm -hmm. but what I'm really going to do is sing a song. And that's what he did. He just sang a song Unreal. at the press conference. It's unbelievable. It was truly one of the most yeah. remarkable things. And I thought like that would be the takeaway of Prince's week. But then of course, yeah, well, no, the, the rain, the rain, we were always, I was always worried about the rain. I mean, Prince, his stage was designed out of mylar. It was kind of a mashed up male and female symbol conglomeration. Mm -hmm. He had two dancers uh, called the twins, real long hair, eight inch heels. Mm. And it was slippery to begin with. And when it rained on it, it was treacherous. And... So I was just, I didn't sleep the night before because I said, what happens if one of them falls down? Do we just keep going and step over her? <laughs> sure, know? right, I, know. I mean, what do we do? And um, um, the, the funny thing is, is that uh, counting down to Prince, he's underneath the thing ready to go. We're like 30 seconds to going on there for the halftime show. Mm -hmm. Um. All of a sudden, the heavens burst open, and it just started pouring rain. What would you think? Well, what I, I, I called him immediately on my walkie-talkie and said, Hey, man, it is really coming down now hard. I, I just want you to know. And he said to me, Can you make it rain harder? He did say that. He said that to me. He Prince saw that as an opportunity, and he used it to give a performance of his life. I mean, the New York Times still calls that halftime show the best halftime show ever. Well, uh, and rightfully so, Don. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 but, and, and, and even people who maybe haven't seen 50 of them or half of them, obviously, that used to be up with people and stuff like that. But that is yeah. truly. So you're sitting in a director's chair and you must have had so many options of iconic imagery, right? In yes, front of I you? did. And that was great because. Uh, and then a Super Bowl is covered with about 26, 27 yeah, cameras. Right. And I had a few of my own in there and a few of my own cameramen. So I had like 30 some odd cameras. Wow. Um, and we were, what, what happened with that is it prompted Prince to elevate his performance and meet the challenge. The water started hitting the hot lights and it created a steam effect that kind of floated against the stage. Water hit the lint camera lenses and created hexagonal stars. And it became, I mean, it took my breath away. It wasn't planned. Mm. It happened. And it was just magical, ethereal. And um, it's what made, I think, what made that show so memorable. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.